Ross, congratulations on being named our 2014 Sports Personality of the Year. Quite simply, could you sum up the last 12 months for you? Uh, it's been a whirlwind, uh, life changing. You know, it's it was it was it was nothing but a dream. Uh, you know, three four years ago that I could be on the team for Glasgow 2014, but. Uh, you know, in the last two years, it's become more of a reality that I could be challenger for medals and, and you know, world class top in performances. And you know, the summer just topped that off, and I shocked myself. Um, and the and the 200 breaststroke and in the hundred, at what times I could actually go, and you know, the progression rate's been so fast. And you know, I've, I can only thank my support team at the Institute of Sport. Um, but the ones who are more close to my heart is Aid Campbell, Louise Emery, um, Neil Donald, and, and Ben Higson, who's my coach as well. Nobody will ever forget that 200 metres final. It was incredible. Um, to, to pip Michael Jamison in the, in the way you did, um, what are your memories of it? What were the emotions at the time? Um, well, I remember speaking to my coach in the holding camp prior to the games, and something we said was, you know, if, if you're there with 50 to go, that's your game. Your game is the last 50. If you're there on that last turn, there, there should be no doubt in your mind that, that you're going to do it. And, you know, I, I paced the first 100 with him, and Aim to just stay with him on the on the third fifty, and I, as soon as I seen at the turn, I was right beside him. I was like, you know, this is my time. This is exactly what I've prepared for to be in this situation. Everything's gone to plan, and and just keep pushing it, and, and make sure this last fifty is the one that counts, and you, you don't even don't look back. Don't look back. Your teammates, but you're you're competing against each other. How was things with Michael after that? Um, you know, it's kind of hard to say because it was it was very much in his mind. His he's already had the medal since London. Um, and you know it was in his hometown and, and things like that. Um, and he had a massive, massive support uh, on Twitter, and he had loads of family and friends there on the evening as well. So uh, I think I think it must have hurt, but um, you know that's that's what sport is. Um, you know you you just got to come in and do your best, and whoever performs best in the night deserves it. Well, like yourself, a good years ahead on. But um, how, how would you say Glasgow 2014 has changed your life? Um, just the memories that, that I'm gonna that, that I'm gonna take from that. That's something that I'll never forget. Um, you know, my, my, my family and now get some recognition for, for what they've done for me in, in the run-up to, to, to my career in, uh, in Glasgow 2014. Um, you know, they, they got, they've, they've had a lot of support um, from other people now saying, well done, you know, how, 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 did, he, how did he do that? And you know, they're always really humble about it, but, you know, they, they spent a lot of time, money and effort and trying to get me to, to where I was. And, uh, you know, I think it's also changed my swimming programme at the University of Stirling. We've had a lot of new recruits this season and I think it's changed that we've had about three or four new additions to the squad and it's, it's just made our, our squad world class and I don't think there's another one like it in the world and you know, I feel really privileged to be a part of that. What about those shiny medals themselves? Do you ever wear them out in the street? <laughs> well, I tend to avoid them. Uh, you know, I kind of just throw them in the cupboard almost. I, I don't like to look at them because... Uh, you know, if you start dwelling in the past, you, you'll live there the rest of your life. You've got to keep pressing on and, and make the move for the future. And what, what does the future hold then for those Monday? Well, you know, in the, in the near future, the, this coming summer 2015, there's the World Championships in Kazan, uh, in Russia. So, fingers crossed, I'll, I'll be on the GB team there and be able to put down a, a performance suitable for the pre-Olympic uh, pre season and then moving it into the Rio Olympic Games where, where I hope I can do myself and my, and my country proud. Brilliant. Ross Murdoch, 2014 Scottish Sports Personality of the Year. Thank Hugely you very much. deserved. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you.